The district Redbud, one of the special things I like is it becomes family. Um, I've become acquainted with, really acquainted and friends with a lot of these staff members. You get to know them, uh, we go out, we have events together, we have special things like tailgating together. It just becomes family and that's what I really like about it. We have so many um, diverse teachers here as far as how they teach and what they teach and it's really neat to want to try new ideas because you have lots of support from each other. If you just want to share a new idea, someone's always willing to take that idea from you or even help you improve it. There's just so much knowledge in our building that anything you want or need, someone in the building can help you out. The best part of being a parent is definitely the open communication between the teachers and the parents. So our district has been very uh, progressive in trying to get uh, what we do out to the public. So we have been uh, really good at pushing out with Twitter and Facebook and showing um, the community what's actually happening in our classrooms and in our buildings. We receive daily announcements. The teachers use certain apps where they're updating us on what the children are learning and specific activities that they're involved in. And then we also receive a weekly recap of both the grade school and the high school of what the children are involved in all week. Redbud is very unique in the fact that it's a small town district, but yet we have so many veteran and new teachers that are doing progressive things. Our district is trying new things, so even though we still have that small town feel, we're keeping up with the bigger districts in our area. The student body here is large enough that we have the opportunity to afford many different courses. Uh, there's foreign language, there's weightliftings, there's all kinds of opportunities to do things that outside of just the core courses. But also the student body is small enough that we get to know many of the students by name. You know, walking through the hallways, everyone's friendly, welcoming, always willing to help out each other. Um, the same goes to the district and the leadership and the teachers. Uh, and their, their involvement with the students as well. It feels like a humble place to be, like there's no negative vibes. Most of the people are pretty nice here. I've never met a teacher that I haven't been able to talk to or ask questions about, and it's good to have a feeling that you're always able to talk to teachers. They, they get to be, and to my opinion, they're my kids. And when they get to know you, they take that opportunity to come to you. They feel like this is a home to them. We are. In, in some regards, where their parents away from home. Redbud is very unique in the fact that we still have all the extras that a lot of schools have had to cut. We have band, music, computer, STEM classes, library, PE. We have aides that help us in our classroom. We have special ed departments. We have special ed aides. There's so many things that Redbud still has for students that a lot of districts no longer are able to provide. The town of Redbud is a unique community because it's, it's quaint enough that when you go out, the locals know who you are, they call you by name. You can still leave occasionally with your doors unlocked, your kids can play in the backyard, you can go for a walk at night. There's a lot of community activities to do in town. One that comes to mind now in this season of the holidays is the Beautification Committee. We look like a Norman Rockwell picture um, at Christmas time. We have tons of restaurants and places to go. And you can just kind of hang out and, and be part of the community that maybe in a larger town you get lost in, but Red Bud you do. All right, hello and welcome to the Redbud High School Gymnasium for tonight's matchup of your Redbud Musketeers versus the East Alton Wood River Oilers. I'm Ben Koopman and I have Tim Conway here with me tonight. Going to be calling play-by-play. -play -play. Happy you can make it, Tim. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, excited to call this one tonight. I think Redbud and East Alton have actually already played this year, so it'll be exciting to see these two teams match up again. I think you got a little more info on the first matchup. Yeah, uh, so... Tonight's game is actually a rescheduled game from last week. Um, this is the second game in Redbud's three-game homestand. Um, I'm going to actually start off with last night's last night's game a little bit. Oh yeah, um, I missed yeah. that one. Yeah, if you were here or watched the game, 
uh, in person, you saw a great game. Uh, the Meteors got off to a hot start in the first quarter. Uh, they led Redbud by seven going into the second. And the second quarter was a bit more of an even match, but it was capped off by a half-court buzzer beater by the Marissa guard Chase Hurst, and that put the Meteors up by, I think it was nine or ten. But uh, early in that second half, the Marissa big man Garrett Harrell, uh, he, he was quite a disruption down low. Um, the Redbud guards trying to drive. He probably had three or four blocks in that first half. Uh, he picked up two quick fouls, and he ended up sitting the majority of that half. And Redbud capitalized on him being out. They had a much easier job getting into the paint, which also opened up the outside shot. And Redbud ended up winning 58 to 50. Uh, Trent Sternberg did a great job attacking the rim. And he led Redbud scores with 15. And Max Dewald ended up hitting four threes and had 13 points. Uh, fellow senior Logan Cathel ended up with 12, and junior Devin Hall had 11 points and 10 rebounds on the night. Another double-double for Hall. Yep, and that brings Redbud's record up to an even 500 at 13-13. and 13. Well, hey, with a win tonight, over 500. I think I remember reading the previews this year. Redbud hasn't had a winning record since 08-09, so it's been a while, so it would be nice to get one here. But anyway, yeah, so they, they matched up earlier in the year, right? Yeah, yeah, so in their last meeting with Wood River, Redbud won 45 to 31. Oh, low score in one. Yeah, um, the Musketeers won every quarter that night, and they held the Oilers to just two points in the fourth quarter of that game. <laughs> they got some scores, too, on that Wood River team, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah, um, they're currently 11 and 15, and their leading score is Antonio Hardin. Uh, he's number 23. He's averaging 13.7, and he's followed closely in scoring by Seth Slayden, uh, number 22. So 23 and 22 will be your East Alton Wood River players to watch, and Slayden's averaging 12.2. I think Dane said that Slayden dropped, what was in the 20s against Freeburg not too long ago, a couple weeks yeah. ago? Yeah. Uh, 26? 28, I think 28. 28. 26 or 28. Jeez. I think that was a pretty so high-scoring game. Yeah, the warm-ups, they don't, they, you can't see your numbers right now, but just looking right now, you can definitely th see there's some, some people on this East Wooden River team that put the ball in the hole. Had some fine mullets on that team <laughs> as well. Yeah, some uh, junior had, uh, or a sophomore had tattoos in the JV game, so, man, some of these guys look like grown men. They got thicker beards than me. I've been growing mine <laughs> for two weeks. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting non-conference game, so it's odd that you play somebody in non-conference twice. Like you said, makeup game, so you think they might have just thrown it off the schedule, but good for Redbud keeping it. Shout out to Kevin Cartier. In fact, he had a little uh, honor before uh, the game started. He's retiring. He said 15 years. 15 years. I don't think you – he might have just left he when might you were just leaving. He came right, right, after, right after I graduated. I was uh, able to play – under him while he was athletic director for a few years. So no complaints for me. He gets the stamp of Tim's approval like it matters. <laughs> and they said he was at East Alton Wood River for quite yeah. a while after before that as well. So, 13, I think, years they said. Yeah, yeah, so it's a perfect game. And quite a few accolades as far as yeah. the state of Illinois goes that I wasn't yeah. aware of. Um, all the warm-ups for the players said thank you, Carti. So it was a nice little moment for the game. Let's see if we can send them off right with a Redbud victory. Whole starting lineup this time. So that's good. Nice to see everybody in. You never know with COVID. Yeah. Never know who's in and out anymore. Come in contact, what the rules are. You know, I've seen enough of Redbud's games so far this year that I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I like when they shoot from deep. It's a good shooting team, I think. Yeah, well, Coach Walter has them you know, spread out pretty good. They attack the lane and try yep. to draw a couple defenders and kick out. Try to hit Dewald in the corner for that three or That's exactly fair what I think. If you got the lane, always take the layup. But, you know, if they, if they collapse, which a lot of high schoolers do, help defense, they suck in because you'd rather give up the three than the layup and kick it out. Maybe, I, I tell you what, it's Dewald can't miss over there in that corner. I think I, if he made a few threes last night for you, I must be the jinx. <laughs> I must be the jinx. This guy is all tournament team, drilling four, five, six, up to eight threes sometimes in a game. And every time I watch him, he's just a little bit I short. I think the last game you were here, he had a, a better game. Yeah, he had a couple. 
And you don't miss in warm-ups, I'll tell you what. Nice to see some of this. That's got a lot of all-around scoring, too. It can be Cathal one game, Fair the next, Sternberg, Leifer, Dewalt. Yeah, it's made a, a good mix. All-tournament teams. Hall's got, I don't know if they keep this stat, but he's got to have the most double-doubles that I can remember. Yeah, he had, there's only one steal on the stat sheet, but I think he probably contributed for three or four good deflections last night. Rick Pitino says he get those deflections. Deflections lead to steal. That's funny. So my, uh, maybe that's where my college coach got it from. My freshman year, we kept track of deflections. Yeah, Rick Pitino always to do that. He would keep, I think even, uh, you know, Jim Beheim does that in the zone. Yeah. A little too. A lot of coaches do that. More deflections leads to 50-50 balls and get it the other way and start running. Yep. Camo night here for the fans. Yeah. Better than gray night. They're running out of <laughs> ideas. Gray night last night. Uh, maybe it was something else. I'm not quite sure, but they were wearing all, all sweatpants and just gray. They're running out of ideas. We got about a minute here until starting lineups, national anthem. We'll take a quick little break and um, get back when that when that happens. But yeah, hopefully we get a nice game. Red Bud over 500 for the first time this year. But we're, we're going to take a quick little break and we'll be right back. Redbud Industries is a third generation company located in Redbud, Illinois. It is a fast paced, innovative company recognized worldwide as an industry leader in coil processing. The really neat thing about working at Redbud Industries is the way that it impacts so many people's daily lives. We are building equipment that slits steel, cuts steel into pieces, and is then provided to original equipment manufacturers. So really, on a daily basis, you could be interacting with some form of steel that has been cut from a machine that we've built. It's really neat stuff. My favorite part about working at Red Butt Industries is the family atmosphere. From the competitive wages to the excellent insurance and benefits, all the way down to the team building events, they just make me and my wife and my children feel right at home. I feel like I can come to management if I have an issue. I feel like I can present my ideas and feel like I'm being heard and see those ideas either come to fruition or at the very least progress be made. I think the team here at Redbud Industries is top of the line. I've worked several other places and they just don't compare to the group of people here at Redbud. You can genuinely see that everybody wants the company to excel. There's always someone there to help me. I can look on my left or my right, and if the guy next to me can't help me, he will go to the next guy, and someone's there to help me out. I feel so blessed to have been able to find something so close to home. The community itself, everyone is really involved, and it's a great place to live and work. They recognize the potential in everyone and put you where you fit best. If you're interested in a lifelong career at Red Butt Industries, please go to our website for more information or to apply. All right, and we're back as the Oilers are being, starting line was being announced. Looks like they got Gerber, Leibarger, Robinson, Sladen, and Harden starting. Yeah, as you mentioned, 22-23 on uh, Wood River is going to be the people to watch. Logan Cathel for Red Bud. Nick Fair. Nick Fair. Looks like we got our normal starting lineup yep, here tonight. Looks that, looks that way. Thirty-two. Owen Leifer. He's just a sophomore. Senior Max Dewald. Devin Hall.
Got a few heads in the way of our cheerleaders here, but. <laughs> oh, you can see the shirt we're talking about. It says, yep. thank you, Mr. Carty. All right, Dane's getting them pumped up. Saw Dane at the gym today. He was amped about today's game. It's a good little test. What was today, Jim? Like Tim, leg day? No, every day is upper body. <laughs> Anybody tells you any differently, they're wrong. Yeah, I talked to Coach Walter a bit before the game started. Uh, it sounds like Redbud's going to be sticking to man-to-man -to -man a lot. They held held them to 31 points in their last meeting. So I like that. I like the way this Redbud team guards. Dane gets some guard. Coach Walter gets some guard. Tip's going to go to Wood River. Let's see what Redbud. Yep, you're right. Starting out man to man. Whatever we're doing, a little pick action up top. Swinging the ball. 23, Harden driving it in, kicks it off the two. Two's got a layup, too strong. Rebound goes to D-Wall. Nice rebound there. Yeah, good rip, protect the ball after he had it. Nice first stance. Let's see what Redbuck comes out here and does. Looks like they're running a little, yep, a little screen to get, look to get Hall down at the block. But second action was to get Cathal up top, and I thought he got fouled there, but nothing, clean strip. Good push there by the yep. Oilers. Smart thing to do before Revan can set up their defense. That defense is stout. Man, it looks like this Woodrow team's got some speed. They don't want to give. They don't want to get that shot to Dewalt. Good take by Hall. Just misses it. He'll take that shot. Leifer picks him up and oof, picks nice. up a cheap one at half court. Nice behind the back by. Number 22, Slayton. Slayton. You can definitely see he's got some game. You can see 22 and 23 definitely have some. A little bit of hold up here. Looks like they're confusion. Who the call on foul on. Whatever taking the top of the key. Slayton kicks it off. Got a jump shot too strong. Board by Cathal. Cathal looks up. Decides not to push. Smart move. See if we can set up some offense, get something going here. Cathal takes it in, bounce pass, a little low. Uh, tough Hall to handle. can't handle, yeah. Want to get that up a little bit more. Yeah, uh, they're just, they're pushing it on us here. Yep. Oh, bounces out. But gets the rebound and gets fouled. That's Leifer's second foul. Sturmberg is going to come in to get him. Two cheap ones there. I'd like to have that one back. Harden steps up, makes the first free throw. Of the game for Red Bull, 25, Trent Sternberg. You know, after you played somebody, you kind of know what the defense is like. Clearly, Wood River saw something on tape and said, we're not going to worry about that defense. We're going to get up and right. get them before they're set. I don't blame them. All with a nice pick up top. Sternberg's got the ball top of the key. Dewalt likes his three. Boom, there he hits it. Tim. I told you he wasn't missing. I had a good feeling about him. He was not missing. Pre games, he was just on fire. There's the first three of the game. And the first t shirt gone. They don't ever get him up this high, do they? No, I'd like one of those. Looks, looks like just a lot of. Cutting and moving for Wood River. Not a lot of offense. Shot there. Offensive rebound to Wood River. They're going to save it and keep it here. It looks like they're active on the boards, too. We're going to have to get them off the glass. Keeping it underneath. Not sure where to go. They're going to set it back up deep. deep. Three. Oh, and oh, nothing, it nothing hard. Net. That was college range. Rather healthy three there. He stepped right into it, though. Yep. We'd like to see D. Walt from the corner. That's his spot. You know that. That is. Two in a row. There it is. That's D. Walt. He wanted to show you something tonight, Tim. Uh, I knew it. Something you haven't seen yet. I mean, we know he's capable. Made eight threes earlier this year in a game. 
Tell he shoots out there to drive. Woof. There's Slayton comes back with one of his own. I don't think we're going to have a low scoring game this yeah, time, Coop. Coach Walter said it might be a high scoring affair. Looks like we got a little weave action here. Gets the ball back to D. Walt, dumps thought, it into thought Hall. Thought the heat check was coming. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. Sternberg wide open we'll, from three. We'll take good, that open one. Yeah, oh. Good look by Hall. Sternberg a little short. Sternberg did get some minutes in the JV game before this, and they were pressing in that third quarter. I mean, his legs maybe a little tired. A little more legs in there. Five steps into it. Lie Barker for Wood River. Oilers aren't missing right now. No, they're, they're hot. 12-6 early on. Looks like we're going to have some subs coming up here next whistle. Bears got the ball. He's been quiet so far. Finds a nice Sternberg. They're going to call a foul. He's going to shoot two free throws. Good look by Fair. Good cut by Sternberg. Looks like we're going to have Roman and Luck come in. Short on the first one. Yeah, you might be right about them legs being Yeah, I think the legs might be. They were pressing. Coach Buss had them pressing hard in that JV game. Short again. Red Bull misses two there. Down six still. Four minutes into the first quarter. Wood River looks like they're going to take their man off the dribble. Oh, had a little flare screen for Harden, oh, but wow. missed it. But somehow gets the 50-50 ball and takes a lefty layup. Nice move. Man, you got to get those 50-50s. thought, was it Cathol did a good job of getting on the floor, but the ball just didn't bounce. Nope, not Red Bud's way sometimes. Red Bud's way. Groman gets it over to Luck. Sternberg gets a pick. Doesn't like it, gets it off back to d -Walt. Cathol's going to set something up here. Roman had a three, a little contested, wisely decided to pass it up. Nice drive by Sternberg, there he goes. Looks like he was gonna run into his man as he slipped the screen, but still was able to get off the floater. A nice shot by Sternberg. Makes it 8-14 early on. I've been trying to go over these screens. Um, a little bit of a crazy pass there from yeah. Harden, and Rebbe gets the steal. We'll take that. Pretty low risk pass, or low probability pass. Yeah, I don't, that wasn't making it to, to whoever is Three, three Redbud guys yeah. in the lane of that one. Catholic with a Good nice cut. cut. There. Gets into the body of the defense, but no call. Luck with a nice Good. offensive rebound, a little strong. Good there. Didn't have too much. Like for him to kick it back out there. Wood River going to set up their offense. Now, oh, Harden wasn't looking for the ball and threw it right out of bounds. A little miscommunication and back-to-back -back turnovers by Wood River. Coach is hot over there. Yeah, he is. He's letting them hear it. Yep. Did uh, Coach Walter tell you about getting teed up last night? No, we got a tee, huh? Didn't bring that up, no. I kind of missed it, what, what he was exactly yelling about. Well, you're doing everything, you know, calling the game, well, missing the thing, so easy to miss. I guess maybe I just didn't. I thought he was yelling at his players, Smart. and then all of a sudden he got teed up, so I don't know if it was. Uh, maybe the ref took it at his yeah, yelling at him. Yeah, if, if that's how, how it happened or if he was actually yelling at the ref. It doesn't look like he gets too heated too much, so it must have been something. Got him going. Red butt underneath here after a block by Wood River. D-Walk gets underneath, but another block by Wood River. Oh, Sternberg just goes and takes the ball. He's got DeWalt up ahead if he wants him. Pass it out. Kaplan with a wide open three just oh. off the back rim. Sternberg with the rebound. Oh, DeWalt. DeWalt for the third one. True, just a little long. But Kaplan rebounding. No, loose ball. Lux got yeah, it Lux takes got it out. There we go. That's what we like to see. Oh, and a nice pass by DeWalt. Look. Kaplan again. Mm. And another Fair rebound. rebound. They're letting him play out here right now. Oh Playing my, hard. there's bodies Stop everywhere. <laughs> no, there's not a whistle blown. I like it. It's my kind of game. Red Bud 10-14, great hustle. It's a little different than last night. I thought last night was kind of a ticky-tack calling game. Nah, they're, letting, they're letting it play this today. Is, uh, Swallow that whistle. Let these boys play. 
say it's probably to Hall and Hall and Luck. They're probably happy about that. My goodness, they were they were okay with Robinson shooting that three. Clearly, they saw something on tape. They were okay with him shooting it, but he drills it, burns him there. Wood River 17, Redbud 10. Cathel takes it off the bounce, swatted away by Harden. 54 seconds left, Redbud down seven. You got Fair coming back in along with Hall. Gonna give Cathel and Dewalt their first breathers of the game. Looks like they were trying to get it to Hall underneath. Couldn't quite, Sternberg comes out and gets it. Calling out a play. Might be just one on four. See if he can take his man, if he doesn't have anything. Oh, Groman, nice take. Take. Just a little finish. short. Don't get a reach in foul there. Gonna have to be strong when you go into the lane tonight. Yeah, yeah not many calls. You gotta take it strong. About 30 seconds. Let's see if Wood River just kinda holds it for one shot, takes their lead going into the second quarter. Looks like that's what they're willing to do. About 20 seconds left. Looks like they're okay with holding this down. See if Redbug can get a five count on it, put some pressure on the ball. They get it back to Harden. Redbud with a fake count to maybe shoot him earlier. Leads to a strip ball. They're not gonna get that shot off. It's good, it, but, but that shot was not off in time. I think that's a good call. After one, Redbud 10, East Wood, uh, Wood River 17. We'll be right back after this. My name is Tom Castell, and I am a family nurse practitioner at Redbud Regionals Express Care Clinic. I chose a career in medicine because I was really wanting a career where I could make a difference in people's lives. I really wanted a job that it was my sole purpose just to help people. I really want them to come in, feel comfortable, let them know I'm listening to them as a person and truly care about them like I'd care for one of my own family members. So in the Express Care Clinic, we see all types of patients. We will treat any strains, sprains, the common cold, coughs, and if you have any questions and, and you're not really sure where I should go for this, that's why the Express Care Clinic is here too, so that we can point you in the right direction. We know that illness and certain conditions aren't planned, and so that's why we tried to make sure that we were available for uh, people no matter what time it was. And so our staff is here till 7 p.m., and then also we're available on weekends as well, so that way you can get the care you need. And we're back. Start of the second quarter here, Reba down seven. Brought Dewalt back in. See if they can get some of that offense. He had two threes. All right, first quarter for both Fair and Cathel there. See if we can get them somebody going here. There's Fair That's open fair, for three. Wide open. Just a little short again. Rebbe has been short on a lot of shots. Once again, oh, a nice block by Cathel. Nice fast break opportunity. See if they can push. Dewalt in the corner for the defense is set. Oh, just and misses it. Just off there. You like that shot? What do we got? We call the block. Cathel doesn't love the call. Coach Walter is looking at his coaches saying, what do you think? They calling it on the shot too? Yes. And I was asking Coach Walter if they like to push it. And it sounds like last game they might not have pushed it as much as they are tonight. Yeah, they're definitely running up there. First free throw is good. Obviously, we don't have the numbers in front of us, but you got to feel Wood River shot. 60, 70 percent in that first quarter. They didn't miss a lot. Only time they really didn't get what they wanted was turnovers. That makes it 19-10, Wood River. Let's see if Redbuck can get something going. Coach Walter's trying to egg him on, saying, "Let's go." Little top screen to get D Wall open there. Gets fair in the corner. Didn't like it. Backdoor cut, Leifer wasn't there. Dewall open for three, he likes it. And he hits it. Three. And he hits it. Let me tell you, 
I don't know if you can get it because you might miss the three, but the manager over there, Bryce Dojan, I believe, he is celebrating those threes like <laughs> nobody's business. I mentioned them yesterday too. They're, they're always cheering over there. We'll get it in the, uh, the next half when we're uh, cameras down here when they shoot. Yeah, Jack Candler and Bryce Dojan, they, they they're get after they're cheering down there. Out there. That, they're making that bench lively. Bubba gets a rebound there. 13-19 now, Redbud still down six. Two minutes into the second quarter. Cathel takes his man off the dribble. Fair gets a nice little mid-range jumper, just rims out. Oh, a little aggressive after that and gets the foul. Redbud foul, number 24, Nick Fair. First first it's a good little mid-range mid jumper, just rimmed out. So far, the duo that we talked about has 10 of the 19 points. So held them in check for the most part. Definitely got some looks. And Harden hit a deep three, but I think Redwood's doing a good job so far. Kind of a little bit of an Ole defense there, but Redwood misses the Ooh, free throw again. Harden tried, to, yeah, Harden tried to get a cheap one there. That's going to leave an open three for Dewalt in the corner. Has he got it again? He does. Oh, wow. That's, is that number four? I That's think? four, about four for six, four for seven already. Yeah, he's hot. He's got 12 of Redbud 16, all from deep. He's gonna make sure those cheerleaders are out of shirts by the end of this <laughs> game, or he's making sure that we get one up here. One of the two. Redbud falling into a little bit of a two-three zone here. Yeah, it looks like they are. Short on the three from, what was that again? Slayton, that's right. Those are the guys to watch, Slayton and Harden. Woodward was sticking it in their man, and yeah. there's Fair. Took the same thing he did. Drove it in, got his mid-range jumper, and made it this time. Right, both like scored it. in quick bunches here. Yep. One point game all of a sudden. A couple threes, a couple stops. This two three. Good adjustment by Coach Walter. Saw something he liked. That's the one player you probably don't want to shoot, and he hits it. Gets a little stare at the Redbug crowd, too. Let's see if that fires up Redbud's student section over there. You can get those kind of stares back in the mini castle. Oh. Breathing down your neck like yeah. the Cameron crazies. Oh, oh nice cut, cut by pass. Castle. Good, good, pass by, good pass by Hall. Yeah, you get it a little here. I mean, I guess they're right next to the, it's tough to see from this angle how close they are exactly to the baseline, but I think it's pretty close. I know when the ball's in that corner, this camera can't really see it very well. Yeah, that's when we gotta angle. trust Wayne's angle. Shout out Wayne. Redbud 19, Wood River 22, about four minutes left. Gaffel <laughs> sinks both of them, got a two point game. Redbud down seven after the first quarter, starting to make a little dent in this. Two, three zone's been helping. Oh, Ooh. he throws it right into the middle, and he just can't handle it. There it is. Bounce around. I don't, know if he wasn't, with it. I don't know if he wasn't expecting or what, but Lux back in the game. Gets a nice oh, pass to cut. Hall. Back to Sternberg. He didn't want that. He wants the floater. Oh. Cathel nice. follows up. Nice. Nice I think catch. he was fouled. I think he was fouled there too. I think he got hit. Takes the offensive rebound. It's like a old game of 21. Don't let it touch the ground. Yeah. Back to zero. The zone's throwing Wood River for a little bit of a twist. They don't really have too much offense. They're trying to do some screens. Couldn't tell if that was a three or not, but Harden misses it regardless. Cathal running up with a chance to take the lead. Sternberg sees it. Oh, Cathal was back there if he wanted it. Hall middle mid-range jumper. No. Ooh. Oh, they are playing 21. Yeah. That one didn't go in, though. Luck. Oh, gets Luck. back. Cathal put a little hand out there. Didn't really get it, but was mm. enough to distract him. But I think a jump stop. Yeah. That's a great Defender flies by. Yep. That's a great that point. In. That's a great point. Lieberger has got to have, on Woodbrook, has got to have three or four blocks so far. He's blocking everything down there. I'd like to see a pump fake, like he said, jump stop. 
ball into luck at the block. Doesn't like it. Oh, Captain with a nice pump. Oh, and then a nice little. Oh, they're going to get him on the walk yeah, there. I don't think you can do that in high school. Looks like we've got a 30 second timeout. Let's go to our first 30 second sponsor. What do you got for us, Coop? I think that's a, what is 30? Uh, first 30 second timeout sponsors Kyle Pharmacy. Big thanks to them. For all your prescription needs, visit Kyle Pharmacy in Redbud. Keeping you healthy is their priority. Come to the pharmacy you know and trust. We are just talking about Kyle's before, uh, before the game. You go anywhere outside of Redbud, they always say, uh, Kiehl's? Kiehl's? <laughs> yep. No, that's Kyle's. Good old Kyle's. Timeout Wood River there. A little bit of a run here, so just I think might have wanted to get something to offense for this zone. You know what I would do sometimes, Coop, when they when they call these timeouts, come out, come out, man, because you know they just set up a play for zone. Talked about zone. You come out, man. You completely yep. throw them for loop. They yep. don't know what they're doing. Just for even if it's just one time. Yep, just one possession. Throws them a little. See, just sets a flare. Exactly. Got exactly what they wanted. They set it up. I didn't make it. We set up a flare for Slayton. That's exactly what Wood River wanted. So Luxman goes for a steal. He's got, oh. Didn't have much there. Sternberg sets it back up to the top of the key. He's clearing him out. He looks like he almost wants to take his man. Gets it at the hall. Castle's looking. A lot of cutting. Oh, spins off his man. You like him? And that's Red Bud. Oh, no. Call the Wood River ball. No, no. Yeah, there it is. There it is. He corrects himself. Baseline. I like that. Yep, yep. Nothing wrong with that. You want the right call. I'd like for Cathal just to take it into the defense a little more. He's almost pulling it back. And I think you're, you're missing some fouls there. Nice pass in the ball. Paul puts it in the two. Cathal's a good free throw shooter. You know, nothing. Go in there. Get fouled. You make your two. Hope oh, they're strong. That, that's Redbud's first lead of the game, I believe. Yeah. Good call, Coop. 24 22. Zone defense has completely taken Wood River out of this game. I believe only. Was it, is, it, is it 17 at the end of this quarter? So, four points this quarter. About a minute and 30 left. Some great defense from Redbud. Stop the fast breaks. And Coach Walter's pretty much stuck with this lineup since that run started. Yeah. Catherine with another nice pump, pump fake. fake. This time, you got a jump. Oh. I didn't see the jump before I saw. I didn't see the jump before I saw the body. I thought somebody was yelling, but nope, it was just the coach. That's where if I didn't have this mic on, I might have said something <laughs> to the ref there. I might have been yelling. Definitely saw some body and bump before I saw a jump ball there. I have to agree. Number four Wide open. steps right into a three. Devon Green. Saw him a little on the JV. Pressed with his game. Comes in, steps a three, gives Wood River the, the lead back. That's what you got to do in the zone. The ball can't stick to anybody's hand, move around, shoot the three. Oh, a little bit of reach in there. No call. Sternberg gets it back. Cathal takes it in. Doesn't like what he sees. Luck, same thing. All right, we get a foul, looks like, on Wood River, number 22, Slate. Foul, 22, Slate. Second personal foul, team foul number three. Coach Wood River doesn't really like that. Doesn't like that call. Roman comes in for Cathal. Much need a break. Coming in for East Wood River, number two, Jacob Gerber. Looks like they're going to get Sladen out of there. I, I couldn't tell if that was his second or third foul, but I think he might be in foul trouble. Sternberg gets it at the top of the key. Let's see if Redbud holds it for one. Looks like he's calling four out. A little bit of a pick action. Somebody's got to come help him. Oh. Nobody comes and help him. Redbud gets lucky with the loose ball, and Hall takes it to the rim and gets fouled. Foul. A rare foul call. Yeah. Shooting. 
Yeah, the, yeah. So yeah there's not been many shooting fouls. Green. First personal foul, team foul number four. Ball's gonna go to the line for two. See if we can give Redbud the lead here. About 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Makes the first one. Yes. Give a shout out to everyone listening. Put a, put a note in the comment that you're enjoying it. Share it. Let your friends know. Can't make it to the game. We got you covered. Grandma Dewald's watching from Florida. <laughs> oh, bet that weather's better than we got over here. <laughs> it's hot down there, and Dewalt's hot in this gym. There yes, we go. Is. There's my dad joke of the day. <laughs> oh, Red Bull. Oh, I mean, Walton oh. Wood River steps into a three and fouls his shot and gets a jump ball. Credit to, credit to 22 there. He followed his shot, tied him up, stopped Redbud from getting a fast break. Looks like Fair comes in for Luck. Redbud's got about five seconds. He'd like to see him get it a little further. And he does, but oh, it's deflected. Two, one. Oh, he could have easily the, taken it to the layup. The that was, that's, that's I don't think he one. knew. I don't think Harden knew how much time it was. He easily could have laid that up. It went for the floater. And we've got a tie ball game, 25-25 after two. Much Stay with us for the Much better second, second yeah, quarter there. Much better. Stay with us for the second half. I think we're going to have a really good game coming back. We'll be back after halftime. Redbud Industries is a third generation company located in Redbud, Illinois. It is a fast paced, innovative company recognized worldwide as an industry leader in coil processing. The really neat thing about working at Redbud Industries is the way that it impacts so many people's daily lives. We are building equipment that slits steel, cuts steel into pieces, and is then provided to original equipment manufacturers. So really, on a daily basis, you could be interacting with some form of steel that has been cut from a machine that we've built. It's really neat stuff. My favorite part about working at Red Butt Industries is the family atmosphere. From the competitive wages to the excellent insurance and benefits, all the way down to the team building events, they just make me and my wife and my children feel right at home. I feel like I can come to management if I have an issue. I feel like I can present my ideas and feel like I'm being heard and see those ideas either come to fruition or at the very least progress be made. I think the team here at Redbud Industries is top of the line. I've worked several other places and they just don't compare to the group of people here at Redbud. You can genuinely see that everybody wants the company to excel. There's always someone there to help me. I can look on my left or my right, and if the guy next to me can't help me, he will go to the next guy, and someone's there to help me out. I feel so blessed to have been able to find something so close to home. The community itself, everyone is really involved, and it's a great place to live and work. They recognize the potential in everyone and put you where you fit best. If you're interested in a lifelong career at Red Butt Industries, please go to our website for more information or to apply. Dog. 
With Farmers Crash Assist, our Signal app can tell when you've been in a crash and can send help if you want it. Also, our Signal app can save you up to 15% on your auto insurance. That's really something. Get a whole lot of something with Farmers Policy Perks. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Raceline and Associates internship program focuses on giving interns real world experience. During the internship process, you will meet a variety of employees, all of whom contribute to the overall experience. Interns may experience industry specific training and exposure to fabrication, welding, and mechanical assembly. It's a very positive work environment. I've learned a lot working here. You're not gonna find anywhere else like this to gain that knowledge at a young age. To see all of our career opportunities, visit our website. So we're back for a little quick, quick, uh, quick little bit here at halftime. Yeah. yeah, we're looking over some of the stats that uh, we got. Um, Dewalt, obviously great, great first half, fourth, fourth threes. It's like uh, no real foul trouble for Redbud. Next closest on the starting lineup actually is Hall. He's got 12 already. He kind of snuck up on me there. Yeah. Wouldn't have guessed that. The, uh, Harden, the, the, I believe, is the leading scorer for Wood River. He's got 10. So, you know, we got to keep an eye on him. I think he hit a couple. He hit a, yeah, he hit a couple threes. One of those deep. So, definitely keep an eye on him. Maybe just go over the screens. Make sure that you're uh, going over the screens, not going under. Don't give them, don't let them step into one. Keep them off the fast break. Don't give them any easy baskets. Make them earn it. I'd say fast break, getting back on fast break. I've, I've kind of thought if there's a few of our shots that end up short that if we'd have followed, we might have got the rebound, but they're kind of killing us on the fast break, so they might be leaking out to make sure they're back. I would agree, I would back agree. Fast break. I think it, uh, you stop that thing and you make them earn every basket. Redbud's defense has been pretty good, so I like our chances in the second half. That two-three zone was was big. Yeah, it's a nice a, nice adjustment by Coach. That Walter. was a good adjustment. Redbud's coming back out already. We'll uh, go to another short break and catch you back before the third quarter. Thanks for Perfect. watching. Thanks, everybody. Come on out to NMB Fuel Mart and check out our new live bait and tackle building. Also, we have video gaming with free snacks and soft drinks. We have kerosene, fill propane tanks, and have much more to offer. We are the only locally owned gas station left in the area. Like us on Facebook for new products and specials. Thank you for your business. Go Musketeers! And we're back. 
about a minute and 45 to the second half starts. I'm trying to think from both sides too. If I'm if I'm Wood River, you got to think they spent most of that half setting up some plays for the zone. They didn't really ever put anybody in the middle or short corner. Keys to beat in the zone, obviously. Don't let the ball stick. Move. Yep, yep. Short corner, dive. Get to the middle, look opposite. So we'll see what they come out and do. If you're Red Bud, you got to think just keep putting your hands out, keep defending, get back on defense, rebound. One of the one of the keys in zone is, is rebounds are a little easier because you don't have a man to box out. You kind of just garden an area. So identify somebody, put a butt in them, and find a board. This team doesn't really have a problem rebounding from what I've seen. I think I've seen enough games where they're, they're good enough to keep them off the glass. And yeah, the guards do a pretty good job of I would agree. hitting the boards, and Hall clears, clears them out down there and ends up with quite a few boards normally. Cathal's a really good rebounding guard. Yeah. I don't have the stats, and this I could be going on a limb, but I bet he would lead this team in blocks. I feel like every single time I come, Cathal's, Cathal's got a block or two. Just kind of all over, knows to be in the right area. Lights are dimming. Players are coming back on the court. Everybody's Refs back with their starters, it looks like, I think. See if we can get some going. Poor Leifer uh, caught two early fouls, probably didn't get much in the groove. That's always the worst when you catch those early fouls. Yeah. You don't really get in any kind of rhythm. Wood River's ball to start. Redbud's gonna come back into a man, starting off man. Let's see what that does. Oh, Cathal gets an early deflection. Thought he was about to steal get a steal there. there. He's got his hands all over him, they're gonna call it. He's raising his hand, but it's a pretty easy call for me to see. No real foul trouble, it doesn't look like, no? No. That's his second. It's okay for right now. Easy for me to say, but that heart is <laughs> quick out there. Stick, you know, just move, move your feet. Keep your body in front of them. Like I said, easy for me to say. Wild shot there. Leifer is going to come back with the rebound. Cathal looks like he's going to set it up. No, it sounds like some of the players go back and watch it, so maybe they'll take some of your tips, <laughs> tips Tim. <laughs> Don't. That's the last <laughs> thing you need to do. Oh, wild shot, and it goes in. And yeah. one. Looks like uh, somebody got stuck with their hand in the cookie jar, and he deflected a little, caught it, and still made the shot. Yeah, if they go back and listen to this, let's hope it's on mute. <laughs> and converts the and one. Rubber 28, Wood River 25. Still on that man defense. Twelve made one three in the first half. You can tell they're giving him space. They're they're okay with him shooting. Oh, Leifer reaches in. Hands. Yep. He didn't want to pick up his third foul, but stuck his hand in there. Got a deflection. Cathal takes it all the way. Gets it down to Leifer, Ooh. but blocked. Oh, tries to pass it ahead. Cathal reads it. Gets it to the corner. D wall. There, there it is. Oh, oh. wanted that one. Hall just about had that. Yeah. Nice Hall. Steal. Good effort by Redbud there, good effort. Got the shots they wanted, getting the steals. Sometimes you can tell just by effort. I think Redbud's trying a little harder. Maybe I'm biased. Probably a little bit, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, not a bad thing. I always think uh, Jay Billis is biased when he's calling a Duke game. I'm like, ah, oh, Homer. <laughs> That's what I sound like now. Loose ball. Wood River gets it back and gets a lefty layup there. Nice little move there. It was. Leibarker gets, his, gets a little layup there. Nice little move. 
Let's see what Redbud sets up here. Leifer passes it into Capley. Doesn't have much, but flings it up. Good finish. It's really good around that basket. That's a couple layups now that are just not a likely finish, and he puts it in. Leifer with two fouls gets a tough task of guarding uh, Sladen on Wood River. Cathal's got the really tough task, guarding uh, 23 hard. It's a good take. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got some, some skill there. Took Cathal off the bounce and finished high off the glass. It's a good move. Dewalt, top of the key, passes it over to Fair. Fair's been quiet so far in this game, just two points. Back over to Fair. Fair looks like he's setting up something. T Walk gets the top of the key nice. and he hits his fifth three. The student section, a little quiet so far. Hopefully that three gets him back into a 33 29 now, Redbud. Gonna have to go down there and pump him up myself if I have to <laughs> on a Wednesday. Oh, and a nice move there. Devon Green. Devon Green. Just a sophomore, he's got a good little game. Red but a little slower on offense, it seems, the second half. I was half. just thinking the same thing. Oh, Cathal, nice take. take, he has it. Ooh, I thought that was some arm there. Yeah, I would agree. No complaint from Cathal, but I guess the ball does stay down here with Red Bud. Coach Walter calls out a play. I, th I think Cathal ended up knocking it out of bounds. It's just a no call, make sure Red Bud gets the ball, though, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, makeup call. Hall's in there, he's asking for the ball. Ooh. Yeah, he had a, yeah, he had a little mass, mismatch up with uh, 23 Harden. Cathal gets it over to Fair, pump fake, shot. Oh, oh they're gonna call it on the down. floor. Any other, any other league, that's a continuation. Yep. Hate to see that. That's three on Harden. Hey, there we go. And they're gonna sub him out. That's a big win. He's walking a little gingerly too. Yeah, huh? he is. That's a big win there for Redbud. See if they can take advantage. Cathal gets a corner three, and he drills it. Drills it. He likes that. Looks like that was a setup play. And there's the managers celebrating again. Shout out <laughs> Redbud managers. I saw a little bow and arrow shot there. Dewalt gets out there, make sure he can't shoot three. Good hands by Hall. Deflects it, but leads to a wide open layup. Yeah. Redbud thought they had it and started going the other way, and leads to a Wood River open layup. 36-33 now, Redbud. Three minutes left. Cathal takes the pick from Hall. So a little, there's a little bit of a push off there when Oh, nice jump stop, good looking shot, just misses it off the back rim. You know, he went for his rebound there. Oh, yeah, wow. he went for his rebound and that fast break was... Wood River's gonna get an and one opportunity here. Redmond's out number 11, Max Dewalt, this first personal team foul number two. Dewalt shot that, or uh, Cathal shot that, and he was the last man on kind of de defense there. And his man kind of leaked up there, cherry picked is what we call it. <laughs> you know who was the best cherry picker in the game? I, I know, who you're, know who you're thinking, Nick Lauren. Yep, best cherry picker in the game, <laughs> Nick Lauren. I mean, it, it's easy buckets, no hate. But boy, could he get down there and get a layup better than anybody in the world. <laughs> I think he scored 40 points in a JV one I, time. I and, think you're right. And I bet 70% of those baskets were just cherry picking. <laughs> Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. Nice pass and a layup by Hall. Good pass by Cathal. Good assist. Rub at 38. Wood River 35. Rubber playing some sound defense. Man, so far. Credit to Coach Walter again. He's pressing all the right buttons. He comes out here. Really only baskets have been layups from loose balls or 
Fast break, fast break so yep. they're doing what they need to do. On good hands by Groman. Get on the floor. Get on the, get on the floor. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. and a generous call. I don't think he had possession. Maybe he did. It was tough to see. Everybody was on the floor, but Redbud gets the timeout. Did he call 30? I think we got, we got a 30. I think we got another 30-second uh, 30 sponsor. Yep. Got another 30-second sponsor here. All right. With that, big thanks goes to North County Savings Bank. North County Savings has locations in Redbud, Ruma, and Evansville. They offer all the same benefits as the large banking institutions, but providing personal assistance to their customers remains their highest priority. Buying a new home? Swing by and see what loan option is best for your family. North County Savings Bank is an equal housing lender, MEF member FDIC. Shout out to North County Savings. You know, I usually give a shout out to Steve. I'm going to give a shout out to Karen Wetzler instead. Let's give a shout out to her. She works at North County Savings. Karen, hope you're listening. Yep, North County Savings. That's where I got the uh, $25 gift certificates. There you go. Yep. Share you. this post. We had a lot last night. Give, it, give uh, yourself a chance to shop Red Bull. Michelle Groman ended up winning last night. There you go. We had a lot last night, and we ended up having a lot of viewers, a lot of people watching Red Bull basketball. wonder if there's any relation to the Groman that's playing. Dewalt, another corner three is short. Oh, Hall gets another hand out. Almost forces a steal. Hall, for a big man, has really good hands. He's active in there. Picked the pocket a couple times. Dewalt defends really nicely, but wow. That was a, a grown-up move by Slade. Kind of pushed, yeah. pushed Redbud out of the way, got the rebound, and took it up strong. Redbud 38, Wood River 37. Stay with us, folks. We're going to have a game that's going to come down to the wire, I think, here. Yeah, it looks, looks like it's going to be that way. Redbud, costly turnover there. Leads to an open break and another basket. Let's, I think Wood River's falling into a zone here. Yep. Looks like they're falling into a zone here. We got to get somebody in the middle. Oh, wow. Sternberg looks like he was fouled. Groman gets a pump fake. Pump doesn't fakes. want the three. Cathel gets it. Finally back to Groman. Groman just a short. Good two man game there between Cathel and Groman. Let's see if Coach Walter calls it. Well, third quarter's almost on, but. They switched to a zone and thrown, seems to have thrown Redbud a little bit for a loop there, 2 3 zone. There's Redbud's student section. You can hear him chanting defense. Woodrow taking the lead back, 39 38 here. D Wall gets out there and defends. 12 hit one so far. Oh, Roman. Oh, Roman's got some active hands. And there's Sternberg with some active hands. Redbud's all over the place right now, but 15 seconds left. Yeah, last night they were being very aggressive going for steals, especially Sternberg out there. Redbud with another fake count. Doesn't work. That's going to end us in the third yeah. quarter. Good third quarter there, but at the end of the third quarter, Wood River 39, Redbud 38. Let's see if we can come back, take this game. Stay with us for the fourth quarter. Go on, girl. Go on and get help. That's it, girl. Smart dog. With Farmer's Crash Assist, our Signal app can tell when you've been in a crash and can send help if you want it. Also, our Signal app can save you up to 15% on your auto insurance. That's really something. Get a whole lot of something with Farmer's Policy Perks. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. All right, and welcome back. We're back, and we're ready for this fourth quarter. Wood River had Redbud's number in the first quarter, but then Redbud came back in the second, tied it all up. And now uh, Wood River going into the fourth quarter up one, so kind of couldn't ask for a better back and forth. Lead changes. I don't think anybody's led more than seven early on in that first quarter when Wood River had a yeah. had a nice first quarter when they couldn't miss. Rebbitt's tightened the, tightened the defense up and honestly if we can just limit the turnovers, fast breaks, I think Rebbitt's going to win this game. I really do. Sternberg's got an open three. Doesn't falling back it. into that 2-3 zone. Two, three. He's going to get Sternberg a three. I like it. Yep. Nice. I, I think he's a good shooter. He's got a shooting. 
I see him out here in warm-ups, and he's, he doesn't miss. He just doesn't shoot. He, you know, it's easy for me to say once again. But. Redbud, good, good job there at getting the ball inside. Oh, give me that charge. Oh, there it is. I told you, that, that 22, he's a grown man. He's throwing his body around. And I, missed, I missed who took it. I think, I think it was Groman. I think it was Groman, I yeah. was Groman I think too. he took one last night, and Cathal also took a charge last night. It's great to see. You know, back in uh, grade school days, this was, uh, I know you played at the Catholic, but in public, Coach Ringering gave us a cheeseburger every time we took a charge. Cheeseburger? So. <laughs> yeah, from McDonald's. So everybody would All at once? Try. So you got like 10 cheeseburgers at the end of he the would season? Give you a, yeah, he would give you a certificate for a cheeseburger. <laughs> okay. So let me tell you, people uh, people tried to take charges. <laughs> Sternberg, there's that floater. Oh, sure. God, man, I'm, it's not a bad shot, but I'd love for him to just take a jump shot, step into one. It's a good player. I think you're going to have another 1,000-point score in red butt. Oh, yeah, nice spin absolutely. move. You can see why Sladen can score. Sladen there. He's got, he's got some, some skill in that game. Back to their 2-3 zone. Hall going to that short corner. Yeah, I, I know you like to, that short I, corner. I think you get, him, get it down there. He did, made a good decision last time. Ended up wide open three yep, for Sternberg. Yeah, exactly. Back to him. Sternberg's got it again. It Two is. man game. Ooh. I mean, you can't be mad with that. If I'm Wood River, I, I don't know how you could stick in that. That literally every time that, that since this fourth quarter, oh, really quick take, good give and go there. Full timeout by Wood River there. That's a little surprising. They take a 43-41. We'll be back after this. Come on out to NMB Fuel Mart and check out our new live bait and tackle building. Also, we have video gaming with free snacks and soft drinks. We have kerosene, fill propane tanks, and have much more to offer. We are the only locally owned gas station left in the area. Like us on Facebook for new products and specials. Thank you for your business. Go Musketeers! All right, like you said, that was a quick timeout there by East Alton Wood River after the you know, layup. I'd like to think I have got a little bit of a coach in my brain. If I'm Coach Walter, after what I've seen Sladen come back to do back-to-back -back possessions, I come out in my 2-3 zone. I think you're going to yeah. see Redbuck come back and out in the 2-3 zone after they have this offensive possession here. I really do. He's just kind of put his way through the middle there. There hasn't really been too much – Big men there to step in and take a charge or get a block. So I think I'd I'd be happy with the two through zone. Yep. But either way, that's just my guess. If I'm right, like and comment. We'll see though. But uh Wood River's falling back into a man. This is one of those things where they might have set up a play for a zone and then come out to him and surprise him with a man. Yep, Reba looks a little flustered. Not 100% sure what they're calling. Coach Walter's calling something out. Sternberg looks to take his man off. Leifer's got it. Back to Cathal. Cathal gets over to Sternberg in the corner for three. Just misses, but he fouls Good. his shot up. There's that and floater. Then he hits the floater. Tie game. Five minutes and 30 seconds left. That floater was a little more close range. Not nope. quite as We're coming out to men. We're coming out man to man. No zone there. Good pick. Red, Red Bud still defending. Going over. Oh, oh good, good hands by Kaplan. He just can't. Get, I'm telling you, they've had, had about a few of those, yeah. Yeah, we've had five or six balls that looks like it's, we're just going to go the other direction for a layup, and it just doesn't fall our way. The way the bounce, ball bounces sometimes. Two steps into a three. Short. Ooh. Boy, there's a lot Big of. Big bump as he yeah, came down. Yeah, there's a one. lot of bodies flying and bumping around here. Not a lot of calls. Dewalt pump fakes. This time takes it to the rim. Oh, and good finish. Perfect. You got to do that every once in a while. They say, hey, he, this guy's going to shoot the shot in the corner. Pump fake, take it in. Smart move. Next time, they might not fly out there. There's another good hands by Sternberg, and he takes it. Got fouled in the meantime, but we'll take the basket instead. 47-43, and the student section starting to live up. You can hear Redbud 
Got a decent crowd here for Wednesday. Sternberg looks like he wants He's another one. Sit back there. Don't reach. Don't reach. Sticking his nose in there quite a bit. Yep. Going for the steal. Oh. Leifer gets out there quick. Make sure Saladin's not stepping into one. But five gets. He's off. Cathal's got it. He Blues looks to Cathal. push. Slows it down. Hesitates. Good hesitation. Yep. And Good. one. Come on. Redbutt's putting it on him. That's a quick uh, 6 0 run for Redbud. Might even be more than that. That might have been 43 41. That might be an 8 0 run. Like you said, great hesitation. For those watching at home, I'll give you a little breakdown. Looks like he's going to slow it up. Defense kind of gets on their heels. Push it. Next thing you know, you're buying. Got a chance for a live. Teach that a lot. Change your speeds. Those watching at home, change your speeds. Got the bounce. Hometown bounce there. Yep, hometown bounce. Converts the and one. Puts Castle up to 15 quiet points. 15 points. Wow. Good game for Castle. I think he oh. could have I could think he could have more if uh, the refs were calling some more fouls. He's had three. quite a few bumps on, on a few drives. I think Coach Walter was a little uh, surprised by that. And, I got to be honest with you, saying of all the fouls that we call, we call that ticky tacky one. Uh, you don't have to go back court there, I don't think. What do we call? What do we got to call here? It's on the floor. An elbow? Dewalt's telling him the screen's illegal, and I don't blame him. That's uh, Owen Leifer's fourth personal foul, though, but. Coach is saying we got three minutes and 40 seconds left out there. Stay out yeah, this there. This is where we need to up our production and have instant replay. <laughs> see what happened there. Sideline reporter. What did you see down there, Wayne? <laughs> Looks like he wants to huddle with the coach, uh, with the refs. Yeah, that's uh, we're, we're working the camera, so we got to stay up here. Uh, you know, the NBA crews, college crews, they get to be down there at the bottom. They get to hear everything while the cameras stay up top. But we're doing it all here. So not sure what that meeting was about, but Redbutt 50, Wood River 43. Got a full time out. Full time out. So we'll be back after this 347 left. Redbutt 50, East, Wood, uh, East Alton, Wood River 43. We'll be back. Raceline & Associates internship program focuses on giving interns real world experience. During the internship process, you will meet a variety of employees, all of whom contribute to the overall experience. Interns may experience industry specific training and exposure to fabrication, welding, and mechanical assembly. It's a very positive work environment. I've learned a lot working here. You're not gonna find anywhere else like this to gain that knowledge since a young age. And we're back. Like I said, Redbud 50, Wood River 43, three minutes and 47 seconds left. Neither team really close to the bonus right now. But not a lot of fouls called, so could play a factor if this game gets towards the end and one team has to foul. Wood River's getting hardened back into the game. Ooh, he's gonna hear about I mean, that one. Yeah, air ball and the crowd's letting him hear it. Yeah, oh yeah, they're letting him hear it. Harden went out with three fouls and they kept him out for a long time, and looks like he's coming back with a little rust. Sternberg's got Picking it. Picking up yep. full court here. Full court. Cathal gets it across, and there's a little bit of a body foul. Looks like he's going to call he's it on Harden. That's his four. Wow. Good job by Sternberg and Cathal not to panic. Got to wonder if their little meeting was to call a few more fouls. Yeah. I don't know. It's now all of a sudden, just, now, yeah. now, now the whistle's blowing. Harden comes out again. Redbud doing a good job of containing him in the second half. Sternberg passes it over Dewalt. This would be huge. Oh, uh, oh but rebound. a big rebound by Leifer. Takes it back up. Oh. He's short. Ah. That would have been a big three or a big offensive rebound put back. Leifer's got to be careful. He's got four. Sternberg out there running around. Good defense, but better offense. Devon Green. Just a sophomore, has shown some real flashes in this game. 
Once again, they're going to put a little bit of a pressure on Redbud. Sternberg handles it and has a man down. Nice. Sternberg saw the man, hesitated a little, then finally got Hall down, down low, and Hall's going to go to the line for two. And if you're Wood River, this is what this is what you want to do. You want to speed the game up. You want to get some fouls and and make make Redbud and make them. And for Redbud, you got to get a step to the line and make free throws. Simple as that. There it is. You think these guys have to come? Did you guys ever have to come in at early before school and shoot free throws? No. That, that before your time? <laughs> yeah, that was a lost cause. I think he said <laughs> wasn't going to help. Redbud falling back into that man. No fouls, no cheap ones. Make them earn their baskets. That's exactly what they're doing. Green again. Got some handles. Sternberg staying in front of them. There's handles. the quick hands again. Good, good hands. And there's there hands is. by Hall. Redbud's got two or, some. Two or three different deflections there. Yep. Finally ended up in the steal. Redbud finally in the bonus, by the way. So next foul will be shooting. One and one. Castle's got the ball. Dewalt doesn't take the screen, goes opposite way, but oh, Slayton comes over for a block. Dewalt short again. And there's Sternberg again with his hands, and he gets fouled. Did he get fouled? They call the foul on him. I think he got fouled. And he's going to be shooting free throws. Yeah. Yep, makes Sternberg. Foul number 12, Tyler Robinson, this first personal team foul number seven. I mean, in a game like this where fouls aren't getting called, you might as well stick your hand in there. Yeah. Worst case scenario, like I said, you get a foul, but he's doing a great job poking at the ball, keeping the pressure, and same with Hall, too. If we were counting deflections, I'll tell you what, it would, Red Bull would have a lot more. Sternberg hit quite a few threes towards the end of the game last night as well. Drawing fouls kind of spread, spread the game apart. This, uh, this game has been, the crowd goes quiet. You can hear uh, East Wood, uh, Rivers fan section over there trying to distract Sternberg, but he hits second one, 53-45. Really the difference in this game was that run, that 9-0 that run that Redbud had right in the fourth quarter. Ooh, <laughs> Slayton with another air, or another air ball for Woodrow, I should say. Letting him hear it, ooh. Three ball, nothing. 50-50 ball. Wood River's going to end up with it. Pump fake. Tough, hits the three. Tough. Wow. That's tough after a pump fake. Yeah, gives him a pump fake. Flyby. Hits a three. 53-48. big. Minute 44 left. we got a 30-second timeout. i got to be honest with you. This is this is a nerve-wracking game. Student section's giving a little bit of a cheer right now. If you're Red Bud, you got to come out. You got to take care of the ball. You know they're going to press. They're going to try to speed you up. You got to play within your, you know, yourself. Look for the shot that you want, not the one that first one that comes by, and take care of the ball. Hit your free throws if you go to the line. Play your defense. You're going to come out of here with a win. I'm sorry, we lost the scoreboard there for a little bit. The score's 53-48. Minute 44 left. I know yeah. you said this Wood River team uh, has a losing or record, right? Is eleven has a, and fifteen, I believe it was. I, I, I guess they are. They're a bigger school, though. They're in that Mississippi conference with Columbia Central, so they play some bigger schools. Sternberg tried to get it to Hall, deflected out, but it's gonna stay here with Redbud. So they play some bigger schools. So you know their competition's a little stiff because it's a good team. Oilers are a good little team. Redbud gets it into Hall, gets it over to Cathal. Cathal doesn't like what he sees, gets it over to Dewalt. Dewalt takes it in, and Travel. I did. I, it's tough to see from. It, it, it is, but I, I think I did see him take an extra step did he? right when he was trying to get it up. Just shuffled his feet a little. Had the right idea again. A minute and 30, Redbud up five. To the Wood River, you need a you need a basket here. Let's see who they go to. I don't know if they're going to go to Harden. He's been pretty quiet. 
He has. Number two takes it off the dribble and hits a fall away. Gerber Very with a tough, tough shot. Over, shot. Over Bewald. Jeez. He's not making that again. Boy, that was tough. Pressure again from the Oilers. Redbud handles it. Gets the ball into half court. They set something up into Sternberg's hand. 55 seconds left. Wood River. Redbud's just going to dribble it out. Yeah. Wood River's not going to foul. They're looking to get a five second count, but Cathal does a good job of getting it off him again. Sternberg takes it in, gets it over. Good decision nice. there by Hall. Yep, if, if, you're the, if you're Wood River, you got a foul there. They weren't getting anything. 41 seconds He's left. Owen oh, Leifer goes to the free throw line. Been a tough game for Leifer. He's been dealing with foul trouble. Had to spend a lot of time guarding one of Wood River's best players, Slayton. So, see if he can come up here and step and hit these two free throws. Just one to start off. Oh, he's long. But rebound. Gets it over to Cathal. Cathal's just going to hold it. Say, foul me. Sternberg says the same thing. I mean, they're fouling him. 34 seconds. That was a big rebound by D-Wall. Oh, yeah. foul, number two, Jacob Gerber. His third personal foul. That's one of those where sometimes a coach wouldn't have anybody, might not have anybody in. But It's true. One of those things that if you just teach them not to go over the back, any long rebounds you grab, anything else, let it go. Once again, we got a one and one here. Sternberg sinks the first one. That's huge. Four point game. Next foul puts him in a double bonus, too. So I'll be shooting two free throws the rest of the way. Sternberg long on the second one. And Redbud comes rebound. up with another offensive rebound. And he's getting fouled. Boy, if your Wood Rivers coach is livid. Oh, yeah. He's, he's sitting pretty calm. He's kind of slouching in his seat over oh, there. Oh, yeah. There's a couple things you can't do, and one of them is give up offensive rebounds from the free throw. That's a no-no in basketball. Sternberg misses oh. another. A lot of pressure as a freshman yeah. in these free throws. Nobody likes to go up here. The good news is when you get that one and one off, and you say, hey, I got two free throws here. Rub it up four, 29 seconds left. Big free throw here. Misses it long again. Oof. This time, just Redbud about ended up. They with about it. had it, and we they need put to a get little back pressure. Yeah, defense here. That was. I understand what Redbud's trying to do there, trying to get a rebound. They go after the ball. They're hustling, but you got to get back at that point. Yep. A player 90 feet from you is not going to win the game. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. And we're back, 21.7 seconds left. Redbutt up to in the double bonus. So next foul, they're shooting two free throws no matter what. We got some music going over the sound system right now, trying yeah. to get this crowd amped up after that last basket. Kind of sucks some, suck some life yeah. out of Redbud. But how many free throws did we just shoot? We shot six, or six, uh, five, well, two five. Or, I guess, There's yeah, a one a of one. ones, but. And then, and then two. Sternberg made uh, an offense rebounds and it gave up an easy bucket. We got a timeout on the court. Looks like there's some candy. Five second rule. <laughs> see if Rebbe can get the ball in. They do. They get it to Cathal in the corner. You want to get out of that corner for yeah, a trap. Got to get out of that corner. Five second call too. Yep. What are they? Oh, they call a foul. foul. Oh, okay. 15 seconds left. Cathal's going to go to the free throw line. He's had a pretty good game so far, I think. Sometimes those refs call those fouls where you're not really wanting them, but yeah. they're they think you wanting them. Yeah. I don't think Capitals missed the free throw yet today, so this is the man you want at the free throw line. Good deal. Senior. He's felt the pressure before. And he hits it. Yep. It looks like he, he shoots like a good free throw shooter. Yep. Looks, looks confident. Same routine. Yep. This next one will be a big one. 
I mean, you'd hate to send them, the, the players back, but after you just got beat on that fast break, now they got two people back, but. Well, they kind of went for some steals that they probably. True. Deflections. The red bud, you just say, get back, get back, get back. Good timeout by Coach Walter. Looks like he's a 30-second uh, or a full. It's like a 30. 30-second 30 timeout. We'll stay here. You can hear me talk a little. About 15 seconds left. Redbud 56, Wood River 52. <laughs> no fouls. If you coach Walter, you're pretty much just telling no fouls. You technically have a couple fouls to give since you're not even in the bonus. Yeah, yeah. So no, I mean, you, maybe do you. If you think you're beat, grab the man. But no cheap ones. Keep the man in yeah. front of you. Do the best you can. Rebound yep. the ball. No turnovers. And you got the, and you got a game. I mean, it's as simple as that. Good fourth quarter. Huge run there early in the fourth quarter with, like I said, a 9-0 run. Capped off by a Cathal and one. Coach Walter giving some last minute instructions. 15.5. This is fun. You got a red butt up here just to make sure that they can't just throw the ball at court, but boy, that was way too quick. That was pretty easy. Way too quick. Way too quick. You gotta wonder what Walt, Coach Walter told them there, because I don't think <laughs> I don't think that was quite it. No, no. I think we got a full timeout there, but 10 seconds left. We'll just kind of talk it out. Yeah, hindsight's 2020, so it's obviously easier to say now. But I think I'd almost say fall back and get into a zone, do something, make sure that they can't drive, make them make them hit a shot from deep. They haven't hit many. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like we tried to press a little bit to slow them down maybe, yeah, but they, they think, did a pretty good job of pushing yeah. it up. I think the idea was don't let them roll the ball up. Let's make them uh, grab the ball and dribble up. But Slayton, to his credit, took it. Took a little Euro step right around Dewalt to avoid the charge yep. and laid it in. If you're Redbud now, up two. You got to get the ball in. Control it. Handle the pressure, make your free throws, walk out of here with a win. Yep. And you on make a it high, sound so easy. Yeah, I do. And on a high note, going to senior night, above 500. That gives me a quick chance to say, uh, senior night Friday, you'll be on the broadcast, right, Coop? Yep. There's Dewalt. Quick foul. Quick foul. Got to the guy we want. Yep. Believe. Castle's going to be on the line, shooting two. Goes to the line, shooting two here. Ooh, this is the first. Coming up for East Dog Wonder, number 23, Antonio Harden. All right, make the second. Yep. Make the second. Make it a make it a three point game. That at that point you've got two fouls. I know it's the old adage, do you foul? But I think I'd send him to the free throw line. Don't give him a chance to tie it. Right. And he hits it. Red but this time scoots back a little. I'd foul him. I'd foul him right now. I'd foul him. He hits it. Oh no! Ooh, Boy, that looked like it was going in from this angle. Dewald with the rebound gets fouled. Coach Walter kind of looking more. at Coach Buss and saying, <laughs> Dodged the bullet there. Yep. Boy, that looked good from this angle. <laughs> Redbud sends everyone back this time around. 2.6 left on the clock. I think that's a smart move. Dewald hits one of these, game over. Jinx him, why don't you, Tim? <laughs> he just said one, so he's, he's got that's another true. chance yet. That's true. Let's send a couple guys in this time. Come on, Dewalt. Come on, Max. Oh, oh he, good. That will slow it up a bit. It There's did. The heaves no. What a game. What a game. Leifer got a hand on that ball, which slowed Wood River down yeah. just a little. Started the clock. Yep. Slowed him up. Started the clock. And he had to, he had to shoot that from three-quarter across the court and 
didn't really stand a chance at that point. Redmond's gonna walk out of here with a 57-54 W. Like I said, right before senior night, going into Friday, that's a good win. Yeah, good game. Good. Just saw two, Todd. Two in a row. Todd's gonna be on the call on Friday for senior night, so you don't have to listen to me the whole time. But what a good game. Looks like uh, Cathal ended the game with 18, Dewalt 17, Sternberg 12. Paul had six, probably had 10 rebounds like he do always does. So really good all-around game. What'd you think, Coop? Yeah. I mean, first quarter was a little slow, but picked it up ever after that. I would agree. I would agree. That was a Con tough first quarter. Confused him with the 2-3 zone a bit, and that kind of changed this, the flow of the game, the sway of the game. Momentum went back towards Redbud. A really good, really good victory for Redbud. I think that's a that's a better team than their record shows. I think Redbud's got to be pretty happy about that one. Absolutely. Well, I uh, want to thank everybody for listening. Thanks to sponsors, Shop Redbud First. Thanks for everybody for sharing, commenting, posting, liking, doing whatever you got to do. Coop, I think you second that, right? Yeah, I appreciate it very much. Awesome. We enjoyed doing it. Yeah, we can't do it without everybody's listening, so. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you Friday.